If you work in the political realm, then you've heard the name Howard Feynman. Howard Feynman is one of the best, most respected, and most talented political journalists of his generation. I met Howard Feynman at Huffington Post where we were peers and colleagues for several years. Uh, I regularly interviewed Howard about what was going on in DC because he always had his finger on the pulse of the beltway. He always understood what was happening in Capitol Hill. He was always uh, at the cutting edge of what was happening. And of course, he left HuffPost after spending three decades at Newsweek. I'm sorry, he joined HuffPost after three decades at Newsweek and he left HuffPost to join the team at NBC where he started. Um, he had a long and storied career in journalism that began at Colgate University. Uh, he was a cub reporter uh, and ultimately the editor in chief editor in chief at the Colgate Maroon newspaper. Uh, he was a bright light. He had a curious mind. He had a excellent an excellent wit. He was a beautiful spirit. And as much as I could talk about Howard Feynman, the journalist, I think that the most beautiful thing about Howard Feynman was Howard Feynman, the person. In a business that is often overtaken by bitterness and competitiveness and anger and jealousy, Howard always had perspective. He was always collegial. He was always generous. He was always welcoming. He was always kind. He was always gentle. He was always funny. Howard Feynman was a pleasure to work with. And he is an example for generations to come of what committed, engaged, principled journalism should look like. And so I'm sending my deepest love and condolences to Howard's family and his friends and his numerous fans who he more accurately, accurately saw as family. Rest in peace, Howard. May your memory be a blessing.